Welcome to Pro Kitchen Video Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at placing appliances. And of course, we've got more than one way to place appliances, so we'll take a look at all the different ways you can place appliances in Pro Kitchen. So the first way we want to take a look at is how to place appliances using our catalog drop menu. So we're going to come over to our catalog drop menu, click on it, and scroll down until we get to appliances. Now you also notice that KitchenAid is in here. So we could be dropping KitchenAid if we want to. It all works the same way. But we're just going to use our generic appliance catalog for this. So we're going to click on our catalog and here you see we've got all of our categories. We can come in here and choose our cooking category and that opens up to cooktops, microwaves, ranges, wall ovens, grills, and pizza ovens. Pretty much covers the whole gauntlet here. So you open cooktops and they all break down to electric, gas, and induction. And each one of these breaks down, refining the choice a little bit more, right down to the electric cooktops. Now I actually need a range, so we're going to choose on the ranges. And I want an electric range. We can adjust our column here a little bit if necessary to kind of help us see what we've got going on here. We can scroll down through here and check out our ranges. They pop up in our info panel. Again, we can adjust these to see what we got. We can also rotate these around by moving your mouse into the window and holding down your right mouse button. Not quite what I had in mind. I want more freestanding, something more like this. So it places just like a cabinet from here. So we just grab it, hold down our left mouse button, move it into place, and drop it. And there's our range. So that's one way to place appliances. Going to narrow this back up, go back to my show place catalog, and we'll take a look at the next way. So you'll notice over here in our left toolbar we have appliances. And this is how I normally place appliances. Because it's quick, it's easy to find, it's one click of the button, and my appliances are here. I don't have to sort through my catalogs, I don't have to change catalogs, because now that I come back to my Showplace catalog, all of my categories that were open are now closed. So if I'm actively designing, then I have to come back and reopen all my categories that I'm using. Much easier to select it from here and all of your categories stay open. If you don't want the appliance catalog, if you want a different catalog, you can select it over here. So we've got all of our catalogs up in here, along with KitchenAid. So you can choose your catalog, and then again, you come through and you select your item. We're going to go cooking again. We're going to do microwave. We want a built-in microwave over the range. So we're going to choose this guy. We already have the one we want, and again, by holding down your right mouse button, you can rotate these guys, you make them do a little dance, and you can hit place, and now you drag it over here and drop it where you want it. So that's two ways of placing appliances. And the third way to place appliances, and most catalogs are set up this way, there's still a few stragglers that we don't have set up with appliances through attributes. So here we have a microwave base. If you have any sort of appliance cabinet, then it should be set up in attributes with an appliances button. So we can click this appliance button, we can click add appliance, and then we can come through here and choose what we want. This is a really great feature for these cabinets, especially like wall ovens and microwaves that are mounted in a cabinet. There's no fooling around with up and downs and in and outs and trying to get it set in that cabinet going into elevation and looking and, and all the mess that it can be it simply select it and it pops it right in there so we want to go to cooking again microwaves this time we're going to use a built-in microwave now we could have used a countertop microwave it would work as well so we're going to select built-in microwave this guy here is an over the cooktop, not quite what we're after here. Next guy down, this looks more like what I'm after. And I'm going to hit place. And it pops it right in the cabinet. Again, we can rotate this around. And you see it's not quite exact. We need to do just a little adjustment here. 
We need to do a little in out, which is really easy right here on our button. Pop it in and out. That was a little too much. About like that looks pretty good to me. And then you'll notice it's a, it seems to be just a little bit tall. doesn't quite fit our cutout. So my cutout height, I'm going to change that just a little bit. And that gets it to fit in there a little bit. And it's a little too wide as well. So I'm going to narrow up my width just a little bit. And I would say that looks awfully good. And OK. And so there are our appliances. I'm going to take a quick 3D just to see what they look like. All set up, mounted just like they should be. And this has been Pro Kitchen Video Tutorials. Thank you for watching.